Hi everyone, this is Andrew. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is another beautiful day here in the sunny side of Massachusetts. It is, of course, uh, Thursday, May 22nd, 2014. And anyways, what is going on in the world today? Well, really what I want to talk about and touch base on is uh, what's going on in professional sports. And I believe that professional sports will ultimately collapse and become completely completely obscure they'll still exist but i believe that they're going to sort of become like professional wrestling where people know that that still exists but they understand that it's all fake and trash so instead of watching professional wrestling people tend to watch professional sports such as nfl nba nhl and major league baseball and leagues such as those now the reason why i'm coming out here and saying this is really what I'm trying to explain is that professional sports is used as a way to distract people from what the real problems are. Similarly to the scene in The Hunger Games, the second installment of The Hunger Games, where Willie Harrelson's character tells Jennifer Lawrence's character, look, the trip that you had endured last time, it, it never ends, it will never end. You need to become a distraction for the people. And Jennifer Lawrence is sort of this big icon sports star uh, in that movie like a sports star is in Major League Baseball or National Basketball Association, whatever. And now and that's what that's the purpose of sports in general is to get people riled up and it's also to get people in fighting with each other. You know, my team is better than your team, your team is better than my team, and so on and so forth. Now I wanna point out a few stories that I think are very pertinent and explaining what I'm trying to say and uh, one story and this is just a general story that's out there you google it you'll see a whole bunch of search results uh, from from what I'm talking about and uh, it's that college athletes college basketball college athletes all together who you know college athletes tend to become professional uh, basketball players or football players at some point in their careers so before that college sports become sort of like a minor league system for professional sports professional sporting teams pick uh, the players out of college to uh, play for that particular team now what colleges are trying to do, or at least what players are trying to do, collegiate athletes are trying to do, is they're trying to unionize. And what is that going to do? Well, that's going to raise tuition in colleges. And not only going, it's going to raise tuition in colleges, but it's also going to make it uh, harder for the smaller colleges to be able to compete. And ultimately, you're only going to get a few uh, big colleges left. Uh, able to afford to continue to playing these games and having a basketball team or a football team or, or whatever and it's just going to be a, t a totally fake thing it, it's going to be even worse uh, when that happens than it is now of course it's not happening right now because this is just sort of the beginning but more and more college athletes are asking for uh, a way to get paid while playing professional sports in in college basketball in the college basketball uniform. Now that's one story. Uh, another story is what's going on with the illegal drug issue in the NFL right now. The NFL uh, prescribes uh, illegal painkillers to football players, and football players, former football players, are suing uh, because of it. You know, and sometimes it just you just don't understand why because a lot of these guys know what they're getting into. And, of course, uh, they're probably more than likely going to be offered some stuff to help them deal with pain. Since they, they put their bodies so at so much risk from one week to the next. But the NFL is prescribing illegal uh, drugs to people. Uh, not only that, but uh, doctors are, uh, are practicing illegal, uh, are doing illegal things uh, to the players to sort of make them you know more competitive from one week to another without their body breaking down so uh and here's another story uh, that i want to get into as well as the nba uh the cleveland cavaliers recently secured the first round pick of the in 2014 nba draft they did this the th 
the three out of three out of the last four years that they did this, and this time they only had two point five percent chance of doing this since the NBA goes through a a pinball machine in order to uh, figure out who's going to draft first or draft one through fourteen or whatever or one through eighteen. So the reason why I bring those stories up is because I believe those are the three stories. Uh, the, are the biggest stories in professional sports that are occurring right now. Not just that, I think they're the three stories that people are reading into and are starting to realize, or are finally realizing that professional sports really has turned into professional wrestling. And it's really their game in that they decide who wins and who loses, and they don't leave the games up to chance. They ultimately the decision is up to the commissioner of their respective sports to figure out uh, which team is better, which team isn't, as far as from a marketing perspective. So that's really all I wanted to touch based on. The reason why I'm pointing this out is because this is really the last line of defense for the federal government at keeping people uh, dumbed down and asleep because without professional sports or some way to sort of distract the general audience from what is happening to them in, in their bank account and in their freedoms or rights, uh, they're, uh, they, they won't be able to stop it once that ends. Once that distraction ends, they won't be able to stop the Revolution 2.0. And that's really what I'm getting at because... For for the first time in a long time, you know, the talk really isn't about professional sports. The talk really isn't about, uh, you know, about these distractions. The talk really is, the discussions really are, uh, what is going on politically. You know, and I see it from where I work and among other places. People are getting more and more focused politically because... They understand that inflation is ticking up, and they understand there's so many other things that are going on uh, that's really, really affecting them. And so it's sort of time to turn off the television, turn off the distraction, and let's figure out uh, how we're going to deal with these problems. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I know this video was sort of kind of all over the place, but uh, thank you for putting up with me. Uh, take care. Bye.